Hi friends, log on to my website fastbeam.com and talk to me on the forums. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am riding this motorcycle, the Triumph Bonneville Bobber and look at it. So much attention to detail. It looks so beautiful. Wow, how have they even gone ahead and designed such a beautiful motorcycle? Look at the attention to detail. Like isn't this so amazing lot of retro touches throttle bodies over here obviously it's fuel injected but the attention to detail is just something else this motor looks so beautiful and actually this is the only thing which will tell you that this is the bonneville t120 inspired motorcycle because everything else is almost different so it's completely different in terms of design look at the tank the attention to detail over here and you know to unlock the motorcycle's handlebar you have to do it from here using the same key you can turn on the ignition using here so you turn it there and that's how the ignition turns on it's heated a lot you see the slash cut exhaust it gets twin exhaust and it sounds amazing there's a saddle bag here as well and uh, you know what they have done they have given it a look at the rear to tell you that it has a drum brake it actually has a disc brake but you know to stay true to the original the design here will remind you of the original bobbers of yesteryears you can see the attention to detail even in the indicators led light over here i don't know why this thing keeps swinging like a pendulum 150 section tire which is 16 inch at the rear now this is custom made for this motorcycle it's from a brand called avon and uh, I mean, even the spoke wheels, they reek of extreme quality. Now, the way they have packaged this motorcycle, it will make you feel that it doesn't have a monoshock suspension, but that's below the seat. And the seat is also adjustable. Unfortunately, it's not working on this particular motorcycle right now. The speedometer too is adjustable. You can just adjust it according to your liking. And this is a beautifully crafted fuel tank lid. Beautiful motorcycle. Yeah, it's so lovely. Even the seat seems so comfortable over here. You can touch everything and still go gaga over this motorcycle. That's how beautiful it is in terms of design look at how the battery has been sealed over here again retro styling all around many of the typical bonneville elements also on this particular motorcycle the front is a 19 incher and uh, you can see the disc these folks get rubber gaiters to give it the authentic bobber feel and this front tire is a hundred section you can see the beautiful lights the tank the attention to detail adjustable levers here this is the pass light switch and there's a crash guard here as well so beautiful looking motorcycle see the headlight unfortunately it doesn't get leds or projectors by the way its chief rival does get an led now let me quickly show you the switch gear so this is to go through the multi-information display this button so it gets twin trip meters it gets an odometer average fuel meter as well as as a clock it will also tell you if traction control has been turned on or off and there is also a tachometer on offer meanwhile this is the temperature meter this is the clock and this is for the indicator this is for the horn the horn isn't that great meanwhile this is to turn on the motorcycle and this is to toggle through the ride modes this is the hazard light switch and the console gets a speedometer in the center the finishing is very nice telltale lights in between it gets bar and mirrors which are as functional as when you you come out of a bar because you can't see anything once you get into a bar after drinking that is and similarly this thing shows not much behind although if you get the position right you still can see a lot of stuff there overall fit finish is just phenomenal on this motorcycle as expected from triumph and there's also a gear position indicator right now it's a neutral let's turn on the motorcycle here we go and let me rev it for you because it sounds so amazing The finishing even on the master cylinder is so beautiful. I can make love to this motorcycle. That's how beautiful it is. But I'm sure you guys want to know how is it to ride. So let's give it the beans. So we are all set to give it the beans. Turning on the motorcycle. Here we go. Into first gear, revving the motor. Rev still almost 7000 RPM and feels so punchy in second gear itself you do 100 kilometers per hour and look at the pull from this motorcycle my goodness Whoa! yeah but the brakes are very poor on this bike 
So basically this motorcycle is nothing but it's based on the Triumph Bonneville T120 and it takes a lot from it right from the chassis to the engine as well. However, the engine has been reworked and uh, this one produces 77 PS of power which is slightly lesser than what the T120 produces and the torque output has improved slightly now it produces 106 newton meters of torque but what triumph has done very well is improve both power as well as torque output by 10 percent at four and a half thousand rpm now this motorcycle has a decent low end and it has a fantastic mid-range i mean <laughs> look at the pull from the motor in the mid-range is just fab now this is a high torque engine it's a 1200 cc motor and uh, it's liquid cool very punchy in the mid-range nvh is fantastic there's some vibes which i can feel on the foot pegs right now these are front set pegs but the sound from this motor is really nice triumph has not only worked on the exhaust it's also worked on the intake noise and that's what makes this such a good sounding motorcycle you can see it's idling at 1000 rpm and now i'm going to give it the beans here we go <laughs> ah, a little snatchy fueling over here but open the throttle and my goodness it just goes the mid-range is lovely on this bike the problem is there's just too much wind blast to contend with because there's no windscreen miser redlining in third gear 160 beautiful the performance is just amazing on this bike feels so punchy mid-range is like wow and i love the buzziness on my pegs right now actually there's no buzziness of vibration on the handlebar but somehow on the pegs there are a lot of them even though the pegs have rubber mounting and uh, overall performance is fab i would say just fab zero to 100 kilometers per hour will come up in under five seconds and the top speed also marked on the meter as 200 kilometers per hour should reach 180 kilometers per hour without much fuss but there's just too much wind blast to contend with in the mid-range it's really strong just open the throttle and there it goes so the chassis might be similar to the one on the t120 but they have actually reworked almost everything right from the trail as well as the rake it gets a flat handlebar and uh, the riding posture is kind of comfortable it's not really very upright as such although the seat height is low at 690 mm it's an adjustable seat and let me get onto the throttle like a mad hooligan right away here we go so thankfully it gets traction control to watch your back and it also gets two riding modes rain and road right now it's in road mode which gives you more power and this ride by wire throttle is extremely positive it's extremely quick and uh, very good feedback in terms of throttle response it absolutely responds in no time at all now the brakes are disappointing because what triumph has done is they removed the disc on one side the 310 mm disc there's only on one side it was on both the sides in the t120 here we go performance i love this motor i mean obviously Triumph makes some brilliant engines everything is superb refinement performance punchiness really nice but i'm just so disappointed with the brakes and you know there's something else i'm also very disappointed about and you know what i'm more disappointed about it's the ride quality on this machine it's just too stiff the suspension has very little travel so uh, up front you get only 90 mm of travel at the rear you get just 76.9 mm of travel and this is kyb so kyb folks on this motorcycle the ground clearance is extremely low which means you have to be very careful over speed breakers and trust me there have been a lot of speed breakers where this motorcycle will scrape the ground clearance is that low the suspension is just too stiff and uh, on good roads it's good it's very compliant but on bad roads it it absolutely catches you out it just doesn't move only there's no travel only in the suspension system what will it move the gearbox is on the harder side the clutch is also on the harder side and uh, in terms of handling it's extremely good i mean it offers so much feel and feedback for you to push it around corners but there's another problem again due to the low ground clearance there's very little cornering clearance which means that you're going to scrape the pegs almost every time you try to corner this motorcycle hard which isn't a good feeling because you're going to be brushing the pegs on the road and you're going to remove a lot of sparks I love the motor. How many times did I say that? I don't say it so frequently. I know you love the motor. And I also like the handling. It's so sure-footed. Even though it weighs 228 kgs, it feels very sure-footed around corners. It's a motorcycle which you can enjoy, you know, putting it through the twisties. And that's where it absolutely excels. 
Now, obviously, it has uh, custom-made tires, uh, which ensures there's good amount of grip and the sound, especially in gear acceleration, is just something else. Look at the way it goes. And due to the stiff suspension, it remains glued to the road even at higher speeds, which is certainly a very good thing. There's ABS on offer, and obviously the ABS works well. It's not too intrusive. The traction control also isn't very intrusive. You can turn off traction control if you like. The sound gives us an applause, definite applause. So, what do you guys think about this amazing SUV which has just passed? I think it was an original Land Cruiser or a Land Rover. I just could not see. I was so busy giving visions to this particular motorcycle which I'm riding today. So, this bike is priced at rupees 12 lakhs. And let me tell you, it's not the most practical out there. It has a lot of issues in terms of comfort, in terms of ground clearance. But in terms of performance, in terms of appearance, in terms of looks, in terms of quality, feel, handling, it's absolutely phenomenal. I love this motorcycle. It is just so good. And I'll tell you what, if you're looking for a bobber motorcycle, look no further than this Triumph Bonneville bobber. It is such an amazing machine and it gets a definite thumbs up from me. So guys, if you like this video, you know what you have to do. Give it a thumbs up. That's a like button and also subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye-bye. On this signal refused to turn green. Here we go. Let's go for outside performance. Shut up and just let people listen to the sound of the motor. Come on, signal turn green. It's so hot. motorcycle is six-speed gearbox and honestly who wants to go into six gear because you can rip apart the motor in the first three gears itself and it flies anyways the vlog is over stop talking and shut the camera bye <laughs> love the sound yeah even on downshift <laughs>